guys oh welcome back as you can see your girl is having a very chill relaxed kickback day today okay it was definitely a bubble bath type of day morning coffee just chill i actually wanted to play in some makeup today but this my eye is just a little bit irritated so whenever my eyes feel a little irritated i don't fool with them okay so yeah today is not going to be a makeup day for me unless i just kind of <laughs> play with some palettes, do some swatches, or whatever the case may be. But welcome to another vlog. Um, I don't know if this is just gonna be a daily vlog of today or if it's gonna be for the rest of the week. It depends on what I get into. But as you can see, I'm in my closet right now. My closet is crazy. It's like a bit overwhelming to me right now. So I kind of don't really like to do a lot of stuff or film a lot of stuff in here right now because I really want to declutter my closet. I really want to declutter my clothes, my shoes, not so much, my bags, not so much, really just my clothes. And because we're in the middle of summer, I decided I'm not going to do that right now because I have a lot of fall and winter clothes and I want to kind of go through that season just to kind of see what I do still want to wear before I just start getting rid of stuff. So by the end of the year, maybe January, February, I should be ready to do a full on closet declutter where I'm giving stuff away to my daughter or Goodwill or whoever else wants it for that matter. But yeah, my closet is crazy right now i have so many clothes that i don't wear that need to go <laughs> quite honestly so anyway that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day i'm in my closet right now because i want to switch out my fragrances i pulled these fragrances like i would say a few months ago honestly so this is my fragrance tray of what i've been you know grabbing for and using over the last couple of months when i do a fragrance tray it kind of helps me because i have so many perfumes to just kind of focus in on certain ones and i rotate them every couple of months so that i can get use out of all of my scents so um i'll share with you guys what i have been using what i've been reaching for and kind of you know which ones i like the most and which ones i don't so um here in front i have this finery suite on the outside i got this from target and this scent is nice it's not my favorite it's nice it doesn't really last long enough for me so yeah that's that um i have this zara red vanilla beautiful bottle i love this bottle and it smells really nice actually it really does i'm gonna be smelling like all kind of stuff by the time i'm done with this but yeah it smells really nice nice a very grown and sexy scent um this as well i don't feel like it lasts very long i feel like you need to layer this but i don't know it could just be me and once again it's not one of my favorites it's a nice scent but i didn't find myself reaching for it a lot this one here gorgeous bottle amber rouge got this on amazon beautiful beautiful bottle this smells really good i love amber scents so oh yeah <laughs> this smells really nice like I said, got it on Amazon. The bottle is gorgeous and this smells really, really good. That's something that I would reach for like if I was going out with hubby, date night, stuff like that. It just smells really good. This black opium, this is the cherry one, like in the red bottle or whatever. I have the other one as well, but this one, I can never, what does it say? It should say on here somewhere. But anyway, I know this is the cherry one because, honey, when you spray it, you know it's the cherry one. Um, ooh, <laughs> yeah, this stuff smells really good. <laughs> really good, but this is the cherry one from uh, Black Opium, and it smells so delicious. I really like this. I didn't think that I really, really liked cherry scents a lot. Um, I have the Kaoli cherry and this one, and they both smell really good but i think i prefer this one i like this one i did reach for this quite a bit i would say probably about i don't know if you can see it's probably about a fourth of it gone 
but yeah i reached for this quite a bit because this scent smells delicious this is a newer one to my collection the herba pura i believe it's from zerjoff herba pura this is like a really like grown and sexy expensive perfume i really really wanted it mm, yeah this is um definitely one that i put on little black dress um you know just if i was getting dressed up to go somewhere nice that's when i would wear this definitely grown and sexy very sophisticated yeah and expensive <laughs> okay this one hubby got me this this is new york forever bond number nine i believe he got me this for christmas i had never heard of this brand until he bought it for me um these are pretty pricey as well. After he got this one, I bought another one for myself um, when I was in, I believe, Neiman Marcus. I was kind of smelling all. They have like 5 million different scents for this brand. And, whoo, oh, oh, this smells so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, she smelled good, honey. Yeah. Hubby got good taste, okay? <laughs> so... Yeah, I was smelling some of their other scents and I bought another one. I don't think I'm going to pull it this time to put on my tray, but definitely in the near future, I'll be pulling it. I don't remember which one I got. It's a blue bottle. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the one that I got after he bought me that one. This one is in the blue bottle. It's called Nomad. But the brand is, you know, the Bond number nine. But this one is Nomad. It smells amazing as well. Um, but yeah, I'll probably pull this in a couple of months. Maybe towards like fall and winter. But yeah, this one. Woo, I smell good now, honey. <laughs> this one smells real good. This New York Forever. Delicious. Okay, I did pull my Beyonce Say Noir. I love this perfume, you guys. I don't know why some people don't really care for it or whatever. This stuff smells really, really good. I love it. Whenever I wear it, I'm like, ugh. You know, this has that reflective packaging. But whenever I wear it, I'm like, girl, this stuff smells good. I don't know if I really care for the two-part packaging like this because it's kind of annoying sometimes. But, I mean, it's pretty nonetheless. But, yeah. The Beyonce scent has been getting rocked quite a bit. And then the Kaali Cafe Oud. This is like one of, if not my favorite Kaali scents, the Cafe Oud. And it's funny because I haven't really been pulling for this that much. I think the other scents on the tray were just really um, speaking to me more. But this Oudgasm Cafe Oud, y'all, it smells so delicious. If you like kind of like that sweet vanilla, like coffee-like scent. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even describe it. You have to look up the, um, look up the notes for this. But yeah, that is, I think, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Kaali scents. Because, child, it smells so good. And then lastly on my tray, I have this Commodity Milk. I just got this very new to my collection. When my girl DJ came to visit me, she told me about this. And as soon as I smelled it, honey... I had to have it and it definitely smells delectable because I get a lot of compliments when I wear this. When I wear this out, I get a lot of, oh, you smell good. What is that? What are you wearing? Oh, that smells delicious. You smell, oh, yeah. I get a lot of that when I wear this. So if you want to smell delicious, <laughs> grab this, okay? Now, so my tray is empty. I'm going to put these back. I need to pick some new scents. And it takes me forever to pull scents, you guys. So I don't think I'm going to do that with you guys. But I will come back and show you guys the new scents that I'm going to be reaching for over the next, I would say, two months. I try to let them run for a good two months just so I can get a feel of which ones I really like and which ones, you know, I can actually declutter or give away. Not necessarily like they stink, but they're not ones that are favorites of mine. So I feel like those right now out of this tray would probably be the Zara Red Vanilla, which it smells delicious, but it's not one of my favorites. And the Finery, um, what is it? 
sweet on the outside. Those are my two least favorites from this tray. So uh, we'll see. But let me pick some more and we'll talk about the ones that I picked. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I picked the scents that I want to use for the next two months and I'm actually kind of excited. All the, I feel like this tray is not um, as aesthetically pleasing as my last tray, which sometimes, you know, just because of how things look, I kind of prefer for them to be color coordinated or things like that. But honey, I just, it's so many different scents that I wanted to use that at this point, I don't really care how they look. <laughs> but I usually display them on this little display you know stacked display uh, thing that I got from Amazon in my room so I'm just going to place them but let's just run through this dossier a lot of times I don't pick my dossiers because I just grab them off the shelf whenever I want to use them and spray them on because they're not pretty you know what I mean they're not pretty for display but some of them smell amazing this one is the floral pear so as you can see the dossier packaging, let me get my lighting right, hold on. Okay, there we go. So the dossier packaging is very plain um, and not very distinct. So yeah, I don't really like to put them out oftentimes, but I wanna use that one. <laughs> this one, if you watched my haul video, you saw I got the little Kayali scents. Uh, vacation scents. This one is Capri in a bottle, which is the lemon sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Um, next, I pulled here this Maison Louis Marie number 14. I actually got this in, uh, what is it called? Trend Mood, in a Trend Mood box. Um, great great deal for the price because the box was less than the cost of the perfume alone but it came with the perfume palette all kind of other stuff I don't even know if I showed that or uploaded that video I don't think I did maybe I'll just include it in one of my vlogs maybe this one but anyways I'm going to be using that this was a gift brand new gift from my friend Nacy. she got me this Tom Ford rose prick and oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> so I can't wait to uh, use this and see how it kind of goes with my, you know, skin and everything. This one is my Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. I got this one from Sephora. There we go. I think I got too much stuff going on around me to where my camera doesn't want to focus, but it's just a vlog, so it's all good. <laughs> This one is Floral Street Wonderland Peony. And this packaging is beautiful, but the scent, the smell of this scent is gorgeous as well. So that's what this one looks like. Beautiful. Um, I did pull my Valentino. This is the green one. If you know, you know. This one smells absolutely delicious. So I've got that. Let's see, I'm gonna have to rearrange some of these because the Valentino bottle is fat, okay? Figgity fat. Um, let's see here, I pulled my Billie Eilish. Um, I don't know, I guess this one is just called Eilish, but you know, this bottle is very interesting, but I pulled this one, smells delicious. Put that one on top. Um, oh, I got another Tom Ford. This is a Velvet Orchid. I grabbed this one when I was on a cruise with my hubby. I think the last cruise, maybe in January, I got this one. All oh, this stuff smells so good. Velvet Orchid. Ah, oh, they're not all gonna fit. What am I gonna do? I have two more and I only have room for one more. I'm gonna have to move something, child, because I want both of these. <laughs> this one is the Carolina Herrera good girl you know i'm sure you guys are all familiar with this iconic uh pump okay and then lastly this is brand spanking new i mean i just got this like yesterday it's called woodphoria boy smells and it is a what do you call it unisex scent 
but this is what the bottle looks like. Very, very interesting, this huge top. But y'all, this stuff smells so good. <laughs> if you haven't had, smelled it, definitely smell it. Check it out. I'm usually not one who typically likes unisex scents. You know, I like girly stuff. But this stuff smells so good. So, yeah, let me get this tray together, honey, because I need all of this to fit on this tray somehow without me breaking anything hold on shoot if anything gets taken off it's gonna be the dossier <laughs> it's just just keeping it a book but okay i think i got everything to fit i got everything to fit let me show you hold on okay you guys so everything fits and it's actually not as crazy looking as i thought it would be it is pretty full but yeah, I got everything to fit, so I'm liking how everything is looking. So those are my new scents. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to try some new stuff. So, yep, that's it. And you guys, I have some of the most amazing friends just here in my closet. I have this cute little <laughs> birthday card that I got from my friend DJ. It's so cute because it's like you open it up, it pops you know, it pops open, if you can see that. When you open it, it's like a 3D card. And it actually has um, music. It's so cute. <laughs> I thought it was so adorable. <laughs> and then you see that little light up there it actually blows out isn't that the cutest thing this thing is so adorable anyway I just want to show you guys that <laughs> but I got some of it now my lighting is all messed up but I got some of the cutest gifts amazing gifts my girl Lily she like made a personalized friendship book for me you know just talking about our friendship and stuff and it was just so touching you know and she also bought me this beautiful Carl Lagerfeld purse okay and she got me this cute little you know um, what is it called you know a little accent piece for your purse I can't think of the name of it but yeah she got me this bomb purse from Carl Lagerfeld um dj got me some nice jewelry which my girls know i love jewelry and you know my other friend nacy she got me some jewelry and the tom ford perfume and everything so i do have some really really nice amazing friends and i love them to death and i only hope that i can be half as much of a good friend to them as they are to me so yeah anyways just wanted to share with you guys some of that i thought that car that card was just super cute uh but yeah so i don't know what i'm gonna get into for the rest of the day but whatever it is y'all coming with me okay what a kickback set what a kickback set what a kickback set okay so even though i said i'm not wearing any makeup today not putting no makeup on nope i do want to put some lashes on okay i'm gonna move to put some lashes on so i think i think i'm gonna put some of these on maybe yeah i think i'm gonna put some of these on and hmm or do I want to put these on? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm going to put some of these on so you guys can just chill, listen to some music, and kick back. Where the kickbacks at? While I put on these lashes, okay? <laughs> That's what we going to do.
these are my lashes complete. I just use all the same length. I actually like, you know, how they look when they're just all the same length. This one, which one is this one? This one is uh, 16s. Yeah, I believe that's what that says. 16s on there. So this whole little kit is all 16s and I don't know, I just like it. It's easy too. I don't have to be trying to figure out what size to put where. Um, I do have ones that have different sizes in them. You know, if I ever do decide I want to do that, but because I like them all to be the same size, I buy a lot of these <laughs> that are all the same size. Um, so yeah, I have a lot but I do have some other ones that have a range of sizes like these here these have a range of sizes so if you like the ones you know in your inner corner to be smaller you know you could just put some of those um, these in the outer and these in the middle you know you can kind of just go up and stuff but yeah. I realize that I don't need that <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with them all being the same size. But anyways, this is what they look like. And as you saw, very, very easy. If you are curious about trying it and you're scared to do it, yeah, it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Um, and then the this comes with the bond and the seals. So what I put on first was the bond. And it stays pretty sticky for a long time. And then after you put them on, you go in with the seal side just to kind of seal the bond and the lashes together without, you know, it being super sticky. So that's that, y'all. Okay. So now, even though I don't have no makeup on, I don't have to look like a little mole rat. <laughs> all day i can at least have have some lashes on okay and i like these i do i really like them so anyway i'll see y'all later y'all i am so hungry okay it's lunchtime, and your girl needs to i'm walking down these stairs so i'm trying not to break my neck on camera okay but it's lunchtime, or almost lunchtime, at least and I am starving, okay? So we gonna find something to eat for lunch. It is 11.30, and since all I had was coffee so far today, I think that it's time for me to have a little lunch, okay? So let me see what I'm gonna have. Okay, you guys, so these are my two options right now. I got this Kirkland Chicken Bakes thing. I got these from um, Costco. It's like, I guess you just throw it in the toaster oven or the microwave or something. And it's like this delicious um, little chicken pocket thing. I'm kind of curious to try it because I haven't tried these before. But I also have this Caesar salad, which I've been craving. Of course, not this whole big old bag. This is probably about four salads for me, honestly. But I kind of want to try this. But I think because I'm so hungry, I'm gravitating towards this chicken bake. So I'm going to read the directions and cook it and we'll do a little taste test of this. Okay. Okay, you guys, well, I definitely did not cook this right because after I put it in the microwave on the plate, I looked at the label more closely and it said, cause it was bubbling. I was like, this is supposed to be doing that? But it says you're supposed to put it on a paper towel and rotate it after two minutes or whatever, but we are gonna see what it tastes like.
Definitely needs to be put in a toaster oven, for sure. Cause it tastes kind of doughy, which I kind of felt like it would taste a little doughy, you know, in the microwave, but in the toaster oven, it said it was gonna take like 35 minutes. <laughs> And since your girl is hungry right now, I didn't feel like waiting no 35 minutes, but it's like chicken, cheese. Let me see if I can. It's like chicken, cheese, bacon, um, some type of green vegetable, maybe celery or something in there. Um, you know, some type of cream or whatever. So it's like a chicken bacon wrap or whatever. It's actually very tasty. Yeah, it can use a little salt, but I have the other half in here that I'm going to have probably tomorrow because I just realized that I need to cook today. <laughs> Certain days I need to cook and certain days I don't need to cook. It kind of depends on what my husband is cooking at the studio, whether or not we have leftovers, whatever the case may be, but I need to cook today. So I took some chicken wings out and I think I'm gonna make that something simple, maybe some rice and vegetables to go with it. I don't know, but I ain't doing nothing extravagant today, okay? So. Yeah, I forgot I gotta cook today. So otherwise I would eat the other half for dinner. But yeah. And I think with the other half, when I heat it up tomorrow for lunch, I'm going to put it in the toaster oven because you know it shouldn't take as long to cook. Just so I can get a nice crust on it and it'll probably taste better. So yeah, but it's pretty good. And then I have my white cran peach. This is actually my favorite type of cranberry juice. I love the cran apple and cran grape. I love them all. But the cran peach, for some reason is my favorite, but I love peach flavored anything. And the cran peach is like really light and refreshing. I think that's probably why I like it so much, but yeah. Your girl loves her a cran mix a drink okay put a little vodka in there <laughs> it's a little early for that but yeah i love my cran juices so anyway i'm gonna finish my lunch and i'll catch y'all later you guys i'm kind of thinking about getting a new bedspread for our guest room downstairs. This is the most used guest room. We do have one upstairs that really doesn't get used unless my kids are both here. But this guest room, it's a decent size. It's pretty spacious and it's cozy. And I've pretty much had the same, you know, earthy kind of decor in here. Um, since we moved here, you know, since we bought the house, but I'm kind of thinking I want to do like a little refresh in here, at least a new bedspread, maybe some new pillows, um, just to kind of liven it up a bit. The pictures on the wall over here. I love these. I got these, I think I got them from like Ross, uh, years ago. I had them at the house in California. So it just has Paris, London, and New York. You know, which is some iconic symbols of those, you know, places. But yeah, it's just kind of like very, mm, just not too much razzle dazzle in here for guests. But I kind of want to change this bedspread. So I'm thinking I might go like to Ross or TJ Maxx and see what I could find just to change the bedspread and kind of spruce it up a bit in here the bathroom is pretty basic you know pretty simple um not a lot going on i have a little shelf over here you know with just miscellaneous stuff i actually could put like some more shelving over here if i wanted to or some pictures on the wall i just haven't really done much in here um there's just a shower in here no bath and you know it's just pretty simple, pretty
pretty basic for guests, but it's a pretty decent sized bathroom, as you can see. Pretty decent size. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about at least getting a new bedspread and some pillows just to spruce it up. We'll see. We'll see if I even get out the house. Y'all know it's hot as I don't know what outside, but we shall see. Okay, you guys. So change of plans. I know I said I was going to be going out to Ross to look for a new bedspread or TJ Maxx or something, but I looked over and... <laughs> It just caught in the corner of my eye. This massage chair, I bought this for my husband for Christmas and he loves it. It's absolutely amazing. I love it too because it massages everywhere from the top all the way down through the back, your bum. Yes, it massages your bottom and it has these nice little leg massagers as well, all the way down to your feet, your tip of your toes, honey. And I think I'm in the mood to have a little massage today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use hubby's chair. Don't tell him. Okay. <laughs> no, he doesn't care. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use his chair today and just give me a nice little massage in. And if I leave the house after, then yeah, we'll go ahead and run an errand after. But right now your girl is feeling like she wants a nice little massage. So let's jump in here. Okay, you guys, so like I said, today's dinner is going to be very simple, easy, breezy. I got these chicken wings. They're just like, you know, the small ones. I'm going to throw these in a shallow bath of grease. <laughs> but of course, I'm going to season them beforehand. So these are the seasonings I'm going to throw on these wings before I flour them up and throw them in some hot grease. And I'm just going to make some corn. A little bit of whole kernel corn and we're gonna have a rice aroni cheddar broccoli tonight child we are keeping it simple easy breezy just you know me and hubby keeping it simple so that's what we're gonna do wash this chicken off put it in a bowl season it up and cook us some dinner <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, you guys so mama is done cooking y'all see i made that quick little easy meal okay and <laughs> your girl is done for the day dinner is ready dinner is served okay nah but sometimes quick little simple meals all you need honey and that will work but <laughs> listen if you watched my haul then you know that i got like a moroccan oil hair and body mist thing and i was like i really like it but the scent doesn't last that long and i wanted to kind of try layering it with different scents and stuff but i did decide um to also go ahead and try the body lotion and the body wash i think i ordered child this is like a same day delivery but i um cute but i ordered it late last night so it came today but yeah so it's this brand here the child hold on yes i do keep glasses <laughs> close by at all times okay but this is the um Fragrance Original Body Lotion. Lightweight hydration argan oil with aloe from Moroccan oil. So this is the body lotion. And then this cute little bottle here is the shower gel. This stuff is expensive because I didn't expect it to be this small. But anyway, <laughs> it's really pretty though. So this is the body wash and or shower gel i should say in the same scent which is fine because i have like 20 shower gels in my shower does anybody else do that a million bubble baths because i never know what kind of scent i want to use i cannot just have like one shower gel in the shower that would drive me insane but let me see if i can get some of this lotion i just am curious to see how it smells Okay, so it's not super duper thick, but it's not super duper watery. Um, so let's see. Oh, it smells really nice. I'm assuming it's the same scent. I know they had different scents um, for the lotions and maybe the shower gels too when I was ordering it. So I wasn't sure if it was the same as the body spray that I got. Oh, but this smells good. Okay, yeah, it smells good. If it's not the same, it smells nice. <laughs> so I'm not disappointed. It smells really, really good. It feels good. It's not as 
thick and creamy as I like, you know, like in a lotion or whatever the case may be, just because I like really, really thick stuff. As you guys saw, um, after I got out my bubble bath, I put on that thick body cream from Bath and Body Works because I really, really like, um, I really, really like thick lotions and body lotions and stuff. Let me see if I can get a little bit of a better angle for you guys, a little bit, because I want to stay in frame little bit better um but yeah so i'm excited let me see yep it smells just the same so i got these two so i can do some layering with that body and hair mist and see if i feel like the smell lasts longer on me throughout the day but that's all i got y'all from sephora and then i got my amazon order today it came with this magnesium i had to re-up on my magnesium complex i take this every day as you guys saw i take a whole concoction of vitamins okay every day vitamins iron magnesium calcium biotin all kind of stuff every single day and i take the liquid vitamins too um with the antioxidants and the fruits and vegetables and all that good stuff in it. So your girl be trying, honey, your girl be trying. So anyway, look, I am sweating. It is hot. Okay. It's hot. And I got the AC on and it's still hot, but anyway, so that's what I have. Um, and I think that is it for now. I'm still trying to get this bed spread changed y'all, but we'll get to that later. Okay, you guys, we are back in the guest room. I ended up grabbing some stuff from Target. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the pillows that I got to go with this comforter, but I definitely like the comforter. I'm just hoping that it's going to fit because they have like, well, it says queen. You know, they have some that say like full queen or whatever, but I got a new comforter and then I got some new pillows. But like I said, I don't know about these pillows, but I'm excited to see how this comforter is going to look in this room. I'm hoping that it helps to kind of brighten and freshen and give it a nice new feel in here. And then these pillows that I got, they're kind of like tan and brown. So I'm not really sure. I think they have black on them too, actually. Let me take one out. No, they're actually just like tan and brown. So I'm not sure. It'll definitely go with the other aspects that are in this room. You know, the tan and the brown. But I kind of wanted to bring in a lighter, kind of more airy vibe. So this comforter has tan and cream, but it also has like light blue, I believe. Yeah, with black outlining. So I'm going to go ahead, get this bed together, and <laughs> we'll take a look and see what we got. So I just changed the comforter and added those pillows that had a little bit less um, design on them. They still have design, but a little bit less. And they do go okay, actually, with the comforter because the comforter does have, you know, like tan, 
and cream in it. I grabbed this pillow here out of my living room because I do have black and white in my living room. So I grabbed that one because I just felt like it needed three pillows instead of two. But um, I'm not in love with these pillows, so I will probably still be on the hunt for pillows that kind of match this better. But I feel like if I do really start getting off into the gray and the light blue aspect of the comforter, I'm really going to end up <laughs> taking that picture out because it's very orange and red and putting something up over the bed that more so matches the comforter. The rug is fine because it still has the gray and cream and just looking at it actually needs to be cleaned for crying out loud. But I feel like everything else still kind of coordinates okay with the new bedding. It's not completely thrown off too much. So yeah, and I actually feel like it did freshen it up a little bit. I was tired of the brown, which I just put in here for now cause I gotta get it washed. But I was tired of that. I feel like, oop, I feel like the light, bright, more airy colors is nice. Um, the fact that it's a queen slash full, it's not really covering the bed as much as I would like for it to, to but it's not that big of a deal because you you know you can't really see this one from the door this side from the doorway which is not far down enough but the front is okay and this side's okay so yeah I like it it's good I'm happy I could do some other things to kind of freshen up in here but that's enough for right now <laughs> yeah okay Okay, you guys, so I'm back in the guest bathroom and I'm over here on the shelf that I showed earlier. Let me push back. There we go. So I just kind of have some miscellaneous stuff on this shelf. You know, if people do stay here, um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, you know, um, cotton swabs and hair ties. And, you know, I even have like <laughs> some toner and stuff that I leave in here. I really leave that in here for me just in case I want to tone my face or wash my face and tone it without going upstairs. <laughs> but, you know, a little makeup remover. These are a bunch of, you know, the shampoos and conditioners and body washes and stuff that you get when you stay at hotels. I travel so much and stay in so many hotels that I just take them and bring them here. So if anyone comes and they stays and they forgot they need shampoo or they need lotion or body wash. There's plenty of stuff in here for them <laughs> to, to use. So, you know, I just, I have a million of them too. But there's safety pins. You know, of course I have towels, face towels, some little, you know, hygiene wipes, tissue, stuff like that. But since I just have, see, these are all hotel sundry items as well. Got some slippers, you know, that they give at the nicer hotels, you know, for you to take. I even have some slippers in here, but, um, and this is the laundry hamper, but I want to kind of just conceal this stuff a little bit neater. So what I decided I wanted to do was I want to repurpose the, um, little cubes that I had in my beauty room. You guys know I switched them all out to black. So I still have all my gray ones and they're perfectly fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with them because it's not like I was beating anything up in my beauty space, but I figured I could use these. And I also have an extra one of these because since I kind of put a lot of stuff in my new vanity, I have an extra holder. So I'm going to try and figure out how I can just kind of throw that stuff in some of these cubes or whatever, just to make it look a little bit neater over here. Okay. So let me see what I can do. Okay, I'm not necessarily sure that I like it that much better, to be honest with you. I actually think that I would prefer black cubes in here as well as opposed to the gray, but they still serve a purpose, you know, for now. So I just put the towels and washcloths in this one. Up here, as you can see, you know, I put the extra little miscellaneous sundry items and stuff in here, so. You know, it's not much in here, but, you know, just miscellaneous stuff in there. So it's a little bit neater. Um, and then in here is where I have all of the extra, you know, different 
bathroom items, necessities, if you will. This bin is empty. This one has the slippers in it. Um, that bin on the bottom is empty and then there's toilet tissue down there. So yeah, it's definitely a lot neater with the cubes, but uh, I don't know, I'm still not feeling it. So it'll do for now though, but I think I'll probably switch it out for black. Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and switch out the gray cubes for the black and I actually do prefer the black. I think now that I have that with the cubes there, um, I wanna get either a cabinet to go right here or like one of those little half tables or entryway tables and that way, but if I get something with cabinets, then I can put the towels inside of the cabinet because I don't like how this looks. I don't like that at all. So yeah, this is fine for now, but I would prefer to have a nice cabinet over here that has the towels in it. Um, everything else, you know, is fine. So same stuff, you know, all of the hotel sundries, the slippers, this one is empty. Yeah, that one's empty and then this one has extra toilet tissue in it. So yeah, I do prefer the black over the gray. Um, this is what the shower looks like if you're curious. Just a regular shower, has some, <laughs> some shower gel or whatever in there. And yeah, it's just a regular shower, but yeah, I think it will be good if I go ahead, get a nice cabinet or something here. This wall space is pretty big. It's pretty large. So I have options when it comes to what I can put there and then I can put like a nice big flower arrangement on it, a nice picture on the wall. And yeah, I think I'll be happy with that. So anyways, just wanted to go ahead and end out the vlog, let you guys know that I did go ahead and switch it out to the black. So yeah, your girl is tired. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing a whole lot of nothing today, but it's been a whole lot of nothing. Okay, so I am actually quite tired and I feel accomplished. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today to film this vlog for you. I had a good time. Um, and yeah, this bathroom and this guest room is dark in here right now. But the guest room and the bathroom is definitely a work in progress right now. But something fun for me to do because I do like to decorate different things. So anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!